Thank you for joining us in this time of sadness and grief. Please take a seat. We will begin our service with the reading from the Holy Book of Pear. The scripture will be Tropius 419. Please read along if you have a book. Ask not what your clone can do for you. Ask what you can do for your clone. And now, let's start our eulogies. Okay, so during the funeral, I forgot to mute the Subway Surfers gameplay, so failure speech sounded like this. Uh, I would like to start just by saying how honored I am, and it really is a gift to- So, we're gonna skip ahead. He said some great things, but it's- it's unbearable to listen to. Initially, I planned to sing the national anthem, also known as the Star Spangled Banner, but the song's copyrighted, and I wouldn't want to take the ad revenue from R Royal Pair. We've already had a great enough loss this week. So instead, I will be reading the lyrics from Dream's song Mask as spoken word because I feel it deeply represents the situation we are in. I wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time. Stare at the ceiling while I hold back what's on my mind. And when they ask me how I'm doing, I say I'm just fine. And when they ask me how I'm doing, I say I'm just fine. I've been caring too much for so long, been comparing myself for so long, been wearing a smile for so long it's real, so long it's real, so long it's real, so long it's real, so long it's real. Much like the Waffle House, our friend Royal Melon has found himself a new host in heaven. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Failure. Next is a eulogy from the legend, Joe Kane. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. This is truly a sad day for, for all of us, I would say, right? I've heard this thing before, and um, I think it feels right to say it right now. How can the dead be truly dead if they stay in the hearts of the living? Now, Royal Melon, or as I love to call him, uh, Post Melon. I didn't really know you, but I had the honor to speedrun some of your shorts. So I'm going to be uh, speedrunning this speech too. Uh, your job was thankless, even though you did it every day for less than a week. But uh, that's besides the point. He had morals. Very strong morals. Uh, refused to read stolen Twitter memes in front of Minecraft parkour, which I must admit, even I can't make myself stop doing. He refused to become another Veshremi, you know, the clone, and rose the Spice Kings just to get easy views, likes, and money. Uh, there's nothing royal in the Spice Kings, I must add, but Royal Melon was the true king, worthy of uh, royal treatment and, and fruits. He didn't become a millionaire as the clone VPN wanted him to be, but he's a melon, melonaire in our hearts. And for a second, I thought that here it is. There's some hope in shorts. I, I won't be this depressed while watching them now. Finally, some good content here. But uh, alas, we won't be able to speedrun his shorts again. But his life was the brightest speedrun. I've ever seen, bro. I'm trapped in the basement, but I can feel it's uh, raining here in Sweden, and it's like the whole country is mourning right now, honestly. Uh, in closing, I'm jealous of many of you, including you guys, uh, gentlemen. You got more than, well, two days with him. I, I only got a couple of minutes, <laughs> but I know that a uh, hundred years wouldn't be ha wouldn't have been enough. See you in the major leagues, Royal Melon. You were the best fruit in the basket. That's that's true. And so handsome too. I, I believe the artist that uh, drew you drew, drew you. Uh, he's a uh, he's getting a lot of money right now. Well, press F in the chat for him and leave a like if you're depressed. Thank you, Joe. I, I know it's a very hard time, um, but I know together. 
can overcome this. Next, I want to pass the mic to a deep friend. Someone who actually made content with Royal Melon. And that is Bunda. Thank you, Pear. Um, this is a really sad time, chat. Uh, I'm really bad with death. I think many of you guys can kind of relate. Um, so I might struggle doing this. But there's a there's a there's one thing I want to put out to the public because I was trapped under my desk the whole time. And my clan was a piece of shit. I hated that guy. And he never fed me. Um, but Royal Melon actually used his teleportation powers to feed me and kept me alive the whole time. So if this guy, fuck that guy. <laughs> um, I really, really struggled to make a speech. So instead, I've decided to use uh, ChatGPT to write a poem. I'm just going to repeat it. I put everything in ChatGPT that I loved about Royal Melon into it. And I'm just going to read it out to you guys. In realms where clones in dreams entwine lies the tale of royal melon, now divine. Born of royal pair, yet destined to find a path of goodness in a world unkind. Designed for darkness, but fate intervened, his heart embraced goodness, a soul redeemed. A content creator with vision bright, he sought to spread joy, a beacon of light. Beneath the desk, trapped in the dark, he fed my spirit a kind-hearted spark. With care and love, he held your guy's hand, guiding you to safety, a noble stand. Now he rests beyond this mortal plane, leaving these cherished memories like a gentle rain in Sweden. A legacy of goodness in hearts he'll reside, a beautiful soul forever remembered with pride. Oh, Royal Melon, your essence will remain in the tales we weave, in the songs we strain. As we bid, bid, sorry. As we bid farewell, let our love be shown, a hero spirit forever in our own. In realms where clones and dreams entwine, lies the tale of royal melon, a soul divine. Thank you. Thank you <sighs> so much, Bundan. I know it hurts. Next up, we have the man that helped save us all from Clone VPN. This would not have been possible without this person. Johnny Razor. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to speak here. Now, I've never read, uh, I've never met Royal Melon personally. Um, I, I managed to avoid his wonderful presence, and I'm very ashamed that I was not able to meet the, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, but I do have a few words that I would like to say in his honor. <clears throat> He may have been a clone created for malicious purpose, but he rose above his creators and became far more than anyone could have ever imagined. So, sorry. He was more than a clone. He was a hero. He broke free from the chains that were forged around him, and he saved the original royal pair. I think his sacrifice is symbolic of his true nature and for that reason he he deserves to be remembered as more than just a clone truly he should be remembered as one of the greatest people of all time and it is such a shame that he exploded tragically <laughs> on a brighter note his sacrifice destroyed the entire clone facility ensuring that nobody would be harmed from a clone ever again. And now I would like to take this time to read a bit of scripture in his honor. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 4. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant 
and a time to uproot, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Royal Mellon was only here for about two weeks, and while he was with us, he made us laugh, he made us cry, but in the end, he had to die. I'd like to have a moment of silence for him right now. Thank you. And I, I think I think it would be it would be good to give him another moment of silence. Thank you. And to fully commemorate the legacy of Royal Mellon, I'd like to have a final moment of silence for him. Thank you. <clears throat> and now, on the request of Pear, I will be performing a song dedicated to the memory of Royal Mellon. Would everyone please stand in memorial for Clone Pear? More than a clone, but nothing less than a hero. This one is for the one and only good clone. Royal Melon. Melon, you're so cool. But you blew up, it was pretty cruel. Melon, I understand. You were a good clone till the very end. Melon, 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 Miss you, oh, oh. Melon, 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 Royal Melon at the end of the line And you blew up like a mine And I oh. Melon, 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 I miss you oh. Melon, Melon <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. What beautiful words. And I, I really, really want to say I appreciate that song. It was his favorite. Um, and now we'll move on to the man who made this all possible. Dano. Shit. Dano. Um, uh, hiya. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really sad to be here, actually. Um, Ricky said that he wanted to go first, so I'll, I'll let him go. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ricky, did you want to say a few words? Get, get the Cheetos out of your mouth! We're at a funeral! <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry! <clears throat> hiya, hiya. My name's Ricky. I knew Royal Melon. I saw him myself. He was reluctant to be on the wrong side, and although he was made by villains, it didn't make him a villain. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting choked up. He supported us when we were escaping the facility. He stood up against the other clothes, and he died standing instead of living kneeling. He wasn't very attractive, but it's okay, because beauty can be found on the inside, and that's where all of his beauty was. Inside. 
because it definitely wasn't on the outside. Seriously, it was kind of repulsive to look at. Dude, we get it. Move on. I mean, seriously, if you give a two-year-old a crayon and tell them to draw the worst thing they possibly could, it would still probably look better than Royal Bellet. I mean, he was wow. You're at his funeral, Riggy. He's dead. I am continuing, continuing. Uh, since Mr. Razor quoted the Bible, I find it only appropriate that I quote my favorite book as well, Fifty Shades of Grey. <clears throat> I sit up and reach for the orange juice, drinking it down too quickly. It's delicious, ice cold, and it makes my mouth a much better place. Royal Melon, you were the orange juice. You made the world a better place. <laughs> Did you seriously just quote Fifty Shades of Grey at a funeral? SHUT UP DANO I'M GRIEVING! <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I'll go next. <clears throat> Royal Melon, I didn't ever canonically meet you, but uh, Riggy here told me all that I needed to know. I understand that uh, you were a great friend to those who were near you. You did great things for this world, and we didn't deserve you. But uh, all the same, you were gone too soon. You managed to, 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 to take down an evil empire. So that uh, no YouTuber ever has to worry about uh, being cloned and thrown out of their channel again. Um, may you rest well. And I wear the snacks. There's usually snacks at a funeral. Also, where's the priest? I've got some stuff I need to confess. You're thinking of a wedding. No, I'm sure there's snacks. Usually like uh, cantaloupe or melon slices. Melon slices? Really? Too soon. What? It's not like I said, wow, this funeral is mind-blowing. That would have been really bad because, you know, he exploded and everything. Okay, okay, we're done. Zip it for the rest of the funeral. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate the words a lot. I will now take the mic. And um, this funeral ended up being shorter than we expected, so I'm going to leave us with some closing words from the heart. Um, I just want everyone to know after this, there will be a reception over at Johnny's channel. I will redirect everyone myself. But I think from the heart, I have a few words. Royal Melon, you can call him a clone. You can even call him a hero. You could even call him a content creator. <laughs> but to me, he was a friend. And without him, none of us would be alive right now. And I want to take a second to not only thank the creators, but the fans. Because without the fans, without the people chatting emojis right now, he would have no motivation to do this. Royal Melon, he did this because he wanted us to be with you. If he didn't sacrifice himself, it would have all ended. And to that, I propose a toast. YouTubers, they're known for lots of things. Lots of them care about money. Lots of them care about fame. But Royal Melon was different. The only thing he cared about was making people happy. And that's what I want to leave us with today. If you go out in the world, your goal this week should be to make at least one person happy. I promise you'll have a happier life if you become more positive. And just remember that there's a royal melon inside of all of us. Thank you guys so much.